Retro Rocks Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here and welcome to XD Dead. It's dead because it's not the live version. And the reason I'm not doing it live is because this is a little bit more of a technical video. Uh, we are going to be talking today about TV Launcher. It's available on the Google Play Store. You can unlock it, meaning there won't be any ads for about $3. I will, uh, I'll already go by saying that, uh, yeah, it's worth 3 bucks, at least to me. I've been looking for a launcher for quite a while. Uh, one of the commenters on one of my videos, and I can't find the comment again anymore. It's killing me. Anyway, they said that uh, you should try TV Launcher. It works pretty well, and uh, sure enough, it does. It does require a lot of configuration, but I think the end results are pretty darn good. So let's go dig right into this, shall we? All right. So uh, when you get the launcher, the first thing is this installs in the place of your default launcher. So you will need to switch to it. You will download it, it will install as an app, and then you will need to change your home uh, from your current launcher, which will probably be either Metro or Launcher 3, and you will switch it to TV Launcher. And then what will happen is you might need to reboot and it will come up to this. However, it won't come up to this. It will come up to basically a blank screen with that little plus you see down in the bottom right corner. And uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have nothing on there so you're gonna have to add the apps yourself how do you do that well it's pretty easy to do I'm gonna start with uh, sections because you have to uh, you're gonna want to make your own sections it does come with pre-made sections but you want to go to manage sections you can create a new section or you can delete the sections that are already there by going into it and uh, scrolling down and saying delete I'm not going to do that however <laughs> because that would delete my section and I don't want to do that but you can create a new one by creating new and just typing in the name of the section pretty nice right uh, there are themes as well light or dark uh, I'm using dark hey go to your own desire there are some other things settings here we go navigation bar that's the bar across the top you can make it have a little where are they icons section icons instead of the names I use the names but you could switch to the section icons and if I did that let's go back then you'll have these little icons that are across the top you'll see I'm gonna highlight them right here there's one there's another one and there's HQ not my thing by the way uh, so I'm gonna go back to names Where are you? Off. There we go. The other thing you can do is you can put a little space animation on the background, which is kind of neat too. So you got these little stars. That's kind of cool, right? I like that. I'm not going to use it because I'm pretty sure it burns a little more battery. Oops. Uh, this application one is. Uh, to make it a little bit more like a Google TV device. And of course that navigation bar is on the top. You could disable it. And in some cases it'll disable the bar. I can't remember. I don't think it does on mine. Yeah, see it's there. But anyway. Look around. You can see my games. Of course I've added these all. There is a plus at the bottom. Oh, one more thing about that. Go to the menu, settings. Where is that? At the bottom, right here, if I lock the home screen, you can't add new tiles. Make sure, I, I accidentally locked mine and I couldn't add any tiles and I was wondering why. This is why uh, that home screen, if it's locked, you can't add new tiles. That is nice, however, if you let your little brother or uh, you know your kid or something play this device then you can lock it so that they can't mess it up, which is pretty good. And then they can still play games on it, but they can't change your menu structure. Uh, grid columns, you only have a choice between three and four. There's three. Go back, so now you only see three. Otherwise, you would see four. All right, so you've got, darn it, I turned the icons back on. That drives me. 
Uh, where is it? Off. There. Back. Okay, there we go. I do not like that. All right, so you download a new game and it does not automatically show up here. What do you do? Well, uh, you see this plus right here. You hit that plus and you're gonna add, say, a new application. And then you can look through all of your applications and add the new application. Let's go add Qbert right now. Here's Qbert rebooted. All right, so it added it. Now let's look at the bottom here and see what we get. Yeah, I don't like the looks of that. Now, if you don't like the looks of it, you can press and hold the icon and you can create a new one. However, I don't have a template for this, so what I generally do is I back out of here, I go to my utilities, and I go on the internet, and then I look up a Qbert icon. Let's see, Qbert icon. Or just type Qbert rebooted. Usually the Google Play one works pretty well. All right, so. Here's some uh, eh, images. All right, let's use this one, maybe. Some sizes I found don't work, so you're gonna have to watch that. So I'm clicking on this, and pull down, view in browser. This is a pain in the butt, because it opened it in preview and it won't let you save it in preview. So you gotta open it back in the browser. What the heck? All right, save image. All right, so I've downloaded Qbert Rebooted. This may or may not work because I didn't pre-test this one. Uh, so I'll have to choose another one if that doesn't work. All right, back to it, games. I'm gonna hold down Qbert Rebooted, create. And I'm gonna create it from this. You could upload it to share it with everybody else. Of course, I didn't make it, so I'm just gonna apply it. And see what it said? Couldn't save image. This happens every once in a while, and unfortunately, they don't give you any instructions on what images you can and cannot save, and it doesn't appear to have a, a rhyme or a reason to it. So you're gonna have to just play with it a little bit. Uh, so here we go, go back on Google and I'm gonna search for another Qbert Reloaded image. View in browser. Save. And back out. It's probably why there isn't an icon for this one yet. Create from that. Promising. And there we go, finally a tile. So now if you look, you'll see I got a little Qbert tile. And there it goes. As far as controls go, uh, it's pretty simple. Up, down, left, right. Uh, you can go across the top and hit the A button to choose each section head. If you go to the end of a line and go off the edge of it, so like if I go right right now, I will go on to the next tab. If I go down, I will pick the next row of games. And then, of course, if there's something that's not on the menu, you hit this little waffle right here, and you can get to anything that is not in your menu. So it, I think it looks pretty good. I really like this menu system. It's easy to use. That's one of my major gripes about a lot of them. They're way too complex. It's fairly easy to set up. You can customize it halfway decently. So yeah, I like it. I, I recommend it. Uh, that Qbert, that is not a general example or a typical example of how hard it is to get something on there. Usually it only takes two tries. In fact, that's the most tries I've ever had to take to do it. So all in all, TV Launcher, three bucks. 
go try it out. I mean, if it looks good to you, hey, you can try it without paying for it too. Link is down below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. We're going to go back to some retro gaming. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos